Joining us now, one of the top prospects in the 2023 draft class. He is USC by way of Pitt receiver Jordan Addison. Jordan, how are you, pal? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing great. Doing great. How are you feeling with the draft just one day away? Anxious, excited, just ready, looking forward to see where I'm going to end up at. At what point do you just feel like, I just want to get this over with. Let's just get this started. I just want to know where I'm going to be playing, what helmet I'm going to be wearing, what jersey I'm going to have on my on my torso over my pads next year. <clears throat> oh, I've been feeling like that for a while now. But, you know, I got to enjoy it while, while I'm here. I only get to do it one time. How much attention do you pay to whatever's out there? Media, social media, whatever chatter about where you may go relative to the other guys? I don't really pay attention too much to that because you never know how the draft is going to go. You never know what player going to be taken and it might change up stuff for certain teams. So I just, I'm just where my feet are. Now you won the Boletnikoff award in 2021, opted for the transfer per, transfer, excuse me, transfer portal and went to USC. Walk me through what that decision-making process for you, young age, couple of years into school. What, what was right for you to make that move then? I'll just say trusting my gut feeling. You know, I got I had a, a a lot of smart people inside my close circle that was helping me and guiding me along the way. But what it all came down to was me trusting my gut. When it comes time for teams to pick receivers, and there's a bunch of different names out there, who goes first? Give me the reason why you should be the first receiver to go. I feel like I'm the most versatile. I can play inside and outside. I showed that. I can run any route in the route tree. And when the pressure on, I shine the brightest. What's your favorite route to run? Post. Why? Big post. Because it's unguardable. <laughs> I can inside <laughs> release, take it over. I can inside release, just stick it to the post, or I can outside release and take it over the top. Either way I go, I can still win. Who's the one DB in the NFL you can't wait to line up across from and try to beat? Uh, there's a lot of good DBs. I, I say Sauce. Who's the yeah, one quarterback you know, you'd most like, you like, know, like to? Who's the one quarterback you would most like to catch a pass from? Kenny Pickett. Aha, uh -huh, former teammate. See, and that—that's one of the realities of the draft. You know, you had control over your life in college. You got to pick Pitt. You got to pick USC. And now you just have to submit to this process where they pick you. How do you get in the right mindset where you just have to go with wherever this takes you? Well, I always look at it in a positive way. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm ready physically, mentally, in shape, and I could just run around all day for whatever team who do pick me. Give me one thing that you believe you need to improve on if you're going to be as good at the next level as you were at the college level. I'll say my release is versus press. What What about that specifically gives you concern at the next level? Is it just the size, strength of the DBs, getting away from them when they're up on the line against you like that? Um, Just really what it comes down to is facing better opponents. Every week. So you're going to be facing the top guy every single week. So I just got to make sure that I'm crisp on all edges. Give me the one game that you would have people watch from your college days that would best show the world what Jordan Addison can do. Pitt versus Virginia. Why is that? Look at the stat sheet. <laughs> And it was to clinch. It was to clinch the uh, going to the ACC championship. Um, when the draft gets rolling, is is there is there a number that is going to start getting your attention? Like, here's where I think the window opens up, and I'm going to kind of lean forward. I'm going to be checking my phone. I'm going to be seeing what's going on because now we're in we're in that range where something's going to happen. I'll say about after the tenth pick. It can go from anywhere from there all the way to the end. So I'm going to be on the edge of my seat for a little bit. 
you know, I, I ask guys this all the time, and it hasn't come up yet this year. Madden, you play Madden? All day. Do you put yourself in the different uniforms to see how you look? Just out of curiosity, how would I look? You know, is it? Oh no, I, I haven't did that recently. But like <laughs> coming up playing the game, I always create myself and put it, put them on different teams. What? what so I've seen myself already. What uniform does Jordan uniforms. Addison look best in? What I look best in? All of them. Any one of them. <laughs> Uh, tell us what you got going on. With, tell us what you got going on with Gillette, Jordan. All right, now I'm at Gillette, just getting a clean shave. You know, if you look good, you feel good. So I'm just grateful for Gillette for helping me look good and making sure I'm feeling good for tomorrow night. And you got the right attitude. Be positive. Be ready for anything. What teams though have shown the most interest in you so far? Me and my agent phone been blowing up a lot, but I was probably going go with New York. Giants, not Jets, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, Jordan, I'll let you keep heading forward with your day. I appreciate some of your time. We wish you all the best. Congratulations on the tremendous success at the college level. We can't wait to see where you end up playing in the NFL, pal. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.